<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, but please subscribe because it is free. Um, and you will be learning a lot through these motivational series that I have here on my channel. You will be learning a lot because I am telling you everything that I have learned through my experience of what I have gone through. So I'm, I'm sharing with you what I have gone through so that you can learn and so that you can grow and so that you can become a better you than you are right now so please subscribe and uh yeah let's get into right into the video okay so this um this the topic that i will be talking about today is called fight the good fight and the scripture is taken from Acts 20 verse 24. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. <clears throat> Okay, so that is the scripture, and as usual, I have my thoughts down here on what the scripture has said to me, in my opinion, but if you have other thoughts, please leave them in the comments below, and then maybe I can touch on some, anything that has been said in the comments that I, I feel necessary. I can touch on that and answer questions in another video, alright? So, my thoughts. In giving ourselves to Christ, we are essentially saying that we are willing to give of ourselves to Him so that the world may know of His existence and come to believe in Him. But just like Paul suffered, we have to suffer too. There are those out there who just do not know about the fact that Jesus does exist and will get rid of anything in order to get rid of those who does believe and want to share the good news with the rest of the world. In the end though, as long as we do what we are supposed to do for God, which is to bring believers to Him, then we know that we have fought for Christ and won as many people as we could. God will be pleased with our work and we will have a place with Him when it comes time for us to depart from this world and move to a better one. Alright, so... In fighting the good fight, my thoughts on this one here is basically that we have to continue to fight for our faith and our belief in Christ no matter what. Paul was imprisoned, Paul was jailed, and Paul still had to continue to fight. He never gave up hope of living a life in Christ because he knew exactly what God wanted him to do, which was to bring as many Jews and Gentiles to the Christian faith as he possibly could before his time to go ahead arrived. And as you see, when you read the story of Paul, even the jail could not hold him in. Because at midnight, Paul 
and his partner Barnabas started to pray and they started to praise God. They praised God in the midst of their storm. So they were still fighting and still doing the work even while they were in prison. They were praising God, they were praying, and all of the other jailers heard them. All of the other jailers heard what they were saying. They did not hold back. They did not keep it to themselves. They heard what they had to say and they did what they had to do. And in the end, at midnight, I am not going to allow any distractions to stop me from filming. I will not. And I am not editing this out. You guys are going to hear exactly what I have to go through in order to film. This is the enemy trying to distract me. This is the enemy. This is my fight. This is my fight. Because it was quiet not that long ago. It was quiet. But as soon as I start filming, you hear those footsteps walking around because I am in the basement. I am in a basement. And all of a sudden, as soon as I start filming, the footsteps starts walking around. That is the enemy trying to distract you. That is the enemy not wanting you to get things done. This is why you have to continuously fight in order to get things done the way that you want to get things done. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. Let them hear you. Let them hear you. Let them know that you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And nothing they can do will stop you. Let the enemy hear you. Pray until that door opens. Pray until that jail fall, the, the walls fall down. Keep on pushing. Do not let anything distract you. Because you, again, will conquer. Absolutely nothing is going to stop me. Or distract me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is a part of my fight. Yes, I still have to film. And I will continue. And I will not be edited, editing this one at all. You will see exactly what I go through. And exactly what I have to deal with. So you know for a fact that the enemy does not want you to win at all. And I will win and I will conquer you. So keep fighting the good fight. Keep on pushing. Keep on trying. Keep on reaching. Until God gets you where he wants to get you. Keep on going. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you all soon in the very next video. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.